Welcome to a journey of insight and profound understanding. Today, we delve into a world often felt, but not always seen, the realm of high spirituality. What does it mean to be highly spiritual? It's a question that transcends simple definitions. To be highly spiritual is to deeply connect with something beyond the tangible and the material. It's about sensing the interconnectedness of all life, embracing a journey of inner growth and seeking deeper truths. But this journey is unique and deeply personal. It's about how we see the world, how we relate to others, and how we find meaning in the mysteries of life. For some, it may involve structured practices or specific beliefs, while for others, it's a more fluid and evolving path. In this video, we will explore 10 insights that are often deeply understood and valued by those who walk this spiritual path. Whether you're well along your spiritual journey or just beginning to explore, these insights aim to resonate with, inspire, and affirm the experiences of the highly spiritual. Join us as we uncover these 10 profound insights, each shedding light on the essence of a spiritually enriched life. Let's begin our journey together. For those highly spiritual, nature is not just a backdrop to life, it's a vital living part of their existence. They often describe feeling a profound bond with the natural world, sensing the life force that flows through every tree, stream and mountain. It's as if nature speaks a language understood only by the heart. Take, for instance, the story of anecdote about a spiritual figure or a personal story. Their experience in nature brought a deeper understanding and clarity to their spiritual journey. In the rustle of leaves, the whisper of the wind, highly spiritual people find a connection that nourishes their soul and reminds them of the interconnectivity of all life. Point two, sensitivity to energy. Highly spiritual individuals often possess an acute awareness of the energies around them. This sensitivity extends to the environments they inhabit and the people they encounter. They can feel the vibe of a room or the unspoken emotions of those around them, tuning into these energies on a profound level. Consider the experience of personal story or an example involving a famous spiritual leader who could sense the energy of a place or person and respond to it with compassion and understanding. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. Albert Einstein. This heightened sensitivity is not just a perception, it's an intimate understanding of the unseen dance of energies that connect us all. Point three, the importance of solitude. For those on a spiritual path, solitude is not just about being alone. It's a sacred time for introspection and growth. In the quiet moments away from the world's noise, one can listen to the inner voice, reflect on life's experiences and grow in self-awareness. Great spiritual leaders and thinkers from Nietzsche to Aristotle have all sought solitude to deepen their understanding and connection with the self and the universe. Even in the busiest of lives, finding moments of solitude can open doors to profound inner peace and spiritual clarity. Point four, empathy and compassion. Highly spiritual individuals are often distinguished by their deep empathy and compassion towards others. This empathy is not just an emotional response, it's a profound understanding that we are all interconnected, that the joy and suffering of others are our own. Practice active listening to understand others better. Two, volunteer your time to help those in need. Three, engage in loving kindness meditation to cultivate feelings of compassion. By opening our hearts to the experiences of others, we not only enrich their lives, but also deepen our own spiritual journey. Point five, intuition and inner guidance. In the spiritual journey, intuition is a trusted compass. It guides decisions and offers insights beyond the reach of logical reasoning. This inner voice might come as a gut feeling, a sudden insight, or a sense of knowing that can't be explained. It's a whisper from our deeper selves, guiding us toward our true path. To enhance this intuition, try a simple exercise. Each day, spend a few quiet moments asking yourself a question or seeking guidance on a decision. Write down any feelings, images, or thoughts that come without judgment. Over time, you'll notice patterns and a clearer voice emerging from within. Cultivating intuition is like nurturing a relationship with an old friend. 
The more you listen, the clearer and more helpful the communication becomes. Point six, non-attachment to material possessions. In spirituality, non-attachment is understanding that while we can enjoy material things, our inner peace and happiness shouldn't depend on them. It's about experiencing life and its joys without letting possessions define or control us. Consider the story of the Buddha who left a life of luxury to seek enlightenment. He taught that attachment to material things creates desire, which can lead to suffering. Instead, finding contentment in what we have and who we are brings true inner peace. Non-attachment isn't about giving up everything. It's about realizing that the most precious things in life aren't things at all. Point seven, seeing life as a journey. Highly spiritual people often view life not just as a series of events, but as an ongoing journey of discovery and growth. This journey perspective helps us embrace each experience as an opportunity to learn, grow, and evolve. Life is a journey that must be traveled no matter how bad the roads and accommodations. Oliver Goldsmith. As Oliver Goldsmith reminds us, the journey of life is inevitable. Its quality and the lessons we glean from it depend on our perceptions and reactions. Embracing life as a journey turns every joy, every challenge, and every ordinary moment into a step towards greater wisdom and understanding. Point eight, regular practice of meditation or prayer. In the realm of spirituality, these practices are not just routines, but vital connections to the deeper aspects of ourselves and for some, to a higher power. Whether it's through meditation, which focuses on inner silence and mindfulness or prayer, which often involves reaching out to a higher power, these practices bring a sense of peace, clarity, and purpose. If you're new to meditation, start with just five minutes a day. Sit quietly, close your eyes, and focus on your breath. If your mind wanders, gently bring your focus back. For prayer, find a quiet moment to express your thoughts and feelings to the divine in your own words. Remember the key is consistency and patience. Over time, these practices become a sanctuary of tranquility and reflection in your daily life. Point nine, belief in a higher power or greater purpose. Many on a spiritual path find comfort and guidance in the belief in something beyond themselves. This belief varies greatly. It might be in a traditional deity, a universal energy, or a personal sense of destiny. What's common is the feeling that there's a greater purpose or order to the universe. For instance, in Christianity, it's the faith in God's plan. While in Buddhism, it might be the belief in a cosmic order. Others might find this sense of greater purpose in the intricate beauty of science and nature. Regardless of the form it takes, this belief provides a compass for moral guidance, a sense of comfort in difficult times, and a framework for understanding life's mysteries. Point 10, transformation through challenges. Highly spiritual individuals often view challenges not as setbacks, but as invaluable opportunities for growth and self-discovery. These experiences, though tough, are seen as vital teachers. They forge resilience, deepen empathy, and often lead to significant breakthroughs in personal and spiritual development. Embracing life's trials with courage and openness can transform them into our most profound teachers, guiding us toward greater wisdom and inner strength. As we reach the end of our journey through 10 things only highly spiritual people will understand, let us take a moment to reflect on the insights we've shared. We've explored the deep connection with nature, the sensitivity to energies around us, and the sacred value of solitude. We've understood the transformative power of empathy and compassion, and the guiding light of our intuition and inner wisdom. We've delved into the freedom found in non-attachment to material possessions, the strength and guidance from a belief in a higher power or purpose, and the resilience forged through life's challenges. As you continue on your spiritual path, remember that these insights are not just concepts, but living experiences, evolving and deepening as you grow. Reflect on how these points resonate with your journey and where they might lead you next. The spiritual journey is individual, highly personal. It can't be organized or regulated. It isn't true that everyone should follow one path. Listen to your own truth. Ram Das.
May your path be illuminated with wisdom, love, and an ever-deepening understanding of the profound beauty of the spiritual journey. Thank you for joining us on this exploration.